NASA has once more stated that its shuttle, Pilgrim 1, is currently the farthest spacecraft made by humans. It has begun distributing crucial information to Earth. Despite the nuances of the article remaining hazy, specialists can determine its distance. Voyager 1, launched by NASA quite a while back, has recently sent back a shocking message that has permeated the entire scientific community after traveling nearly 14 billion miles away from Earth. Pioneer 1 has made a discovery of such extent that it has altered the course of its mission, prompting its return toward Earth. This striking change in its path has ignited interest and speculation. Just minutes ago, there was speculation that Voyager 1 made a frightening discovery, causing it to shift its trajectory and head toward our planet. But what exactly has been discovered? Could this be proof of extraterrestrial life, an unknown phenomenon, or something else entirely incomprehensible? In this gripping account, we investigate these exciting findings as Voyager one has made a discovery that has prompted it to abruptly alter course. According to records from the twin Voyager probes, certain celestial events had to align perfectly to allow these two extraordinary spacecraft to depart Earth nearly 50 years ago. The four largest planets in our solar system began to align in a way that hadn't been observed since Thomas Jefferson's presidency in the 1800s. This extraordinary planetary alignment largely went unnoticed until Gary Flandro, a doctoral candidate at the California Institute of Technology in 1965, recognized its significance. While working part-time at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, JPL, in Pasadena, California, Flandro was tasked with selecting the most effective route for sending a probe to Jupiter or farther places like Saturn, Uranus, or Neptune. Using only a pencil, he meticulously plotted the paths of the major planets around the Sun and made a groundbreaking discovery. By the late 1970s and early 1980s, all four planets were set to align in such a way that a single spacecraft could visit all of them, utilizing the gravitational assistance of each planet to move on to the next one. This exceptional alignment would significantly reduce travel time, making the journey from Earth to Neptune last only 12 years instead of 30. However, this planetary arrangement occurs only once every 176 years. Seizing the opportunity, NASA chose to launch spacecraft in the 1970s to take advantage of this once-in-a-lifetime alignment. Voyager 1 and Voyager 2, these twin spacecraft, embarked on an extraordinary mission to explore the outer planets of our solar system. Thanks to the alignment and Gary Flandro's visionary calculations, the launch of Voyager 1 on September 5, 1977, from Cape Canaveral, Florida, marked a historic occasion in space exploration. Just 15 days later, on August 20, 1977, Voyager 2 was launched. The primary mission of the spacecraft was to study the gas giants, Jupiter and Saturn, and their moons. However, they exceeded expectations, traveling farther and longer than any previous spacecraft setting numerous records in their pursuit of discovery. They ventured into regions never before explored by human-made objects, eventually reaching what is now known as interstellar space, a completely unknown region of our galaxy. Today, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2, despite being more than 12 billion miles away, continue to astound scientists with their incredible discoveries. Their most recent findings have left the scientific community awestruck. In the past, the twin spacecraft accomplished numerous astonishing feats, including studying the moons of Jupiter and Saturn. These moons, once thought to be dull and cratered like Earth's moon, turn out to be dynamic, fascinating worlds. Voyager 1 became the first of the two spacecraft to fly past Uranus in 1986. Just three years later, it flew by Neptune, accomplishing a feat unlike any other spacecraft. As these probes continued their incredible journey, NASA implemented various strategies to ensure their continued operation. Non-essential components, such as additional heaters and tools, were deactivated to conserve energy. The objective was to keep them operational at least until 2025. For the dedicated scientists and engineers who had been part of the process from the beginning, 
This achievement was both a combination of effort and sentiment. At the start of their journey, Voyager scientists were astonished by the spacecraft's first close-up images of Jupiter and Saturn's moons. These moons, once believed to be dull and heavily deformed, turn out to be active and dynamic worlds. Voyager 1 reached Jupiter in March 1979, 546 days after its launch, while Voyager 2, taking a slightly different trajectory, arrived at Jupiter in July of the same year. Equipped with cutting-edge cameras capable of rotating at a rate slower than the hour hand of a clock, the spacecraft captured more than 33,000 detailed photos of Jupiter and its moons, revealing exceptional data. For example, the moon Europa was found to have a thick, icy surface with cracks over 60 meters deep. After leaving Jupiter, both Voyager 1 and 2 used gravity assist to slingshot to even higher speeds, propelling them toward interstellar space. They then continued their individual journeys. Voyager 1 passed by Saturn's iconic rings and flew past Titan, a moon covered in an orange haze. Voyager 2, on the other hand, ventured to Uranus in 1986 and later visited Neptune. At Uranus, Voyager 2 made a significant discovery, identifying 10 new moons and confirming that the planet also had rings. However, its accomplishments were overshadowed by a tragic incident that occurred just days after its approach to Uranus. During the launch of the Space Shuttle Challenger, the shuttle tragically exploded, killing all seven crew members, including Krista McAuliffe, a teacher who was supposed to be the first civilian in space. As Voyager 2 flew over Neptune's atmosphere, it encountered the highest recorded winds in our solar system reaching speeds of up to 1,000 miles per hour. Triton, Neptune's largest moon, was revealed to be one of the coldest locations known, with surface temperatures falling to minus 235 degrees Fahrenheit. Scientists also discovered frozen volcanoes on Triton that emit nitrogen gas and particles up to five miles into the moon's atmosphere. After these astonishing observations of Neptune, both Voyager spacecraft were set to shut down their cameras, signaling the end of their official assignments. However, Carl Sagan, an astronomer and member of the imaging group, advocated for extending the mission. His motivation was the hope that the spacecraft could continue their journey into interstellar space. The Voyager mission was then renamed the Interstellar Mission, and both spacecraft expanded their exploration of the unknown. In August 2012, Voyager 1 achieved an extraordinary milestone, crossing beyond the heliosphere, the region of charged particles created by the Sun. The following year, a study published in the journal Science highlighted Voyager 1's critical finding. This discovery marked the first time a human-made object had entered interstellar space, offering scientists an unprecedented opportunity to study the environment beyond our solar system. Voyager 1's instruments detected a sudden increase in cosmic rays and a decrease in solar particles, confirming that it had left the sun's protective bubble. Meanwhile, Voyager 2 continued its journey, following a slightly different path that allowed it to pass Uranus and Neptune before heading toward interstellar space. In November 2018, Voyager 2 also crossed the heliopause, becoming the second spacecraft to venture beyond the influence of our sun. Unlike Voyager 1, Voyager 2's plasma instrument was still functioning, allowing scientists to directly measure the density and temperature of interstellar plasma for the first time. The data collected by both spacecraft provided groundbreaking insights into the boundary between our solar system and the rest of the galaxy. Scientists discovered that the heliosphere acts as a protective shield deflecting cosmic rays and other harmful radiation from reaching Earth. However, the boundary itself is not smooth. It is shaped and influenced by solar activity, creating a complex and dynamic region. Despite their incredible distance, Voyager 1 is now more than 14 billion miles away, and Voyager 2 is over 12 billion miles away. Both spacecraft continue to communicate with Earth using their onboard radio transmitters. Their signals, traveling at the speed of light, take more than 20 hours to reach Earth. To conserve energy and extend their missions, NASA has gradually shut down non-essential systems, 
leaving only the most critical instruments operational. One of the most iconic elements of the Voyager mission is the Golden Record, a 12-inch gold-plated copper disc containing sounds, music, and images representing the diversity of life and culture on Earth. Designed by a team led by Carl Sagan, the record includes greetings in 55 languages, natural sounds like thunder and birdsong, and music from various cultures, including Bach, Beethoven, and traditional songs from around the world. The record also contains 116 images illustrating life on Earth, from human anatomy and wildlife to scientific diagrams and everyday activities. Encased in protective aluminum and accompanied by a stylus and instructions, the Golden Record was intended as a message to any extraterrestrial civilizations that might encounter the spacecraft. As the Voyager probes continue their journey through interstellar space, their legacy remains a testament to human curiosity and ingenuity. They have expanded our understanding of the outer planets, their moons, and the boundary of our solar system, paving the way for future missions like the James Webb Space Telescope and the upcoming interstellar probe plan for the 2030s. Yet, the most profound impact of the Voyager mission may be its ability to inspire generations of scientists, engineers, and dreamers. The images captured by Voyager of Jupiter's swirling storms, Saturn's majestic rings, and the pale blue dot of Earth suspended in the vastness of space have forever changed the way we see our place in the cosmos. Even as their power sources dwindle and their instruments gradually fall silent, the Voyager spacecraft will continue their journey through the galaxy, carrying their messages of hope and curiosity to the stars. And so, as Voyager 1 and 2 drift farther from Earth, their discoveries continue to shape our understanding of the universe and remind us of humanity's boundless potential to explore the unknown. The plasma wave instrument discovered substantial solar flares from April 9th to May 2013. This triggered nearby electrons to vibrate, indicating that Voyager 1 had entered a higher particle region. Despite the fact that it is denser than the heliosphere, it might seem odd that the density of electrons in interstellar space is higher than near the Sun. Researchers explained that the electron density at the heliosphere's edge is much lower than on Earth. By analyzing this data, scientists pinpointed that Voyager 1 officially entered interstellar space on August 25, 2012. The team was overjoyed by this achievement. With immense joy, mission director Susan Dodd expressed her excitement, stating that the group was delighted to see Voyager 1 achieve this remarkable milestone. Ed Stone, an important figure in the Voyager missions, emphasized how this breakthrough contributed to our comprehension of space. He explained that Voyager 1 had helped scientists gain insights into the nature of energy and radiation outside of our solar system. Additionally, Voyager 2 entered interstellar space in November 2018, venturing into the uncharted region beyond the sun's protective bubble. Right now, the most astonishing news is that after an incredible 46 years of space travel, NASA's Voyager 1, the farthest human-made object from Earth, is still transmitting valuable data despite being over 14.7 billion miles away. The spacecraft continues to operate well beyond its expected lifespan. This ongoing achievement, far surpassing expectations, is a testament to the durability and resilience of the spacecraft. However, NASA has projected that Voyager 1 will no longer be able to produce sufficient power to continue transmitting data back to Earth by 2025. Recently, an unusual event occurred during routine communication with Voyager 1 via NASA's Deep Space Network. After more than four decades of uninterrupted data transmission, the spacecraft suddenly halted its journey and executed a 180-degree turn. This unanticipated shift in orientation has raised many questions and concerns as scientists continue to analyze the data sent by the spacecraft. One unanswered question remains. What caused this strange anomaly? Only time will tell. Since the last update, NASA's Voyager 1 mission team has been working tirelessly to understand the reason for the spacecraft's sudden 180-degree turn. Given that Voyager 1 is over 14.7 billion miles away, communication with the spacecraft takes more than 22 hours for a signal to travel 
in each direction. Due to this vast distance, troubleshooting any issue is a slow and complex process. Engineers at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, JPL, have been examining the spacecraft's data logs in search of clues. Preliminary findings indicate that the anomaly could be related to a problem in Voyager 1's attitude control system, which is responsible for keeping the spacecraft's antenna pointed toward Earth. If this system fails, Voyager may first lose its ability to fully communicate. One theory is that aging components operating far beyond their intended lifespan may have caused an error in the thrusters or onboard computer. Another possibility is that cosmic radiation, high-energy particles from deep space, may have disrupted Voyager 1's electronics, resulting in an unanticipated execution of commands. Despite these obstacles, the mission team remains optimistic. They have successfully corrected past anomalies by sending software updates or switching to backup systems. However, with power levels dwindling, the margin for error is smaller than ever. Meanwhile, Voyager 2's parallel journey continues more smoothly, though it, too, faces diminishing power levels. To extend its lifespan, NASA has already begun shutting down non-essential instruments, prioritizing data collection on plasma waves from the cosmos and interstellar magnetic fields. Regardless of how long the Voyager spacecraft continue transmitting, their legacy is already firmly established. These probes have provided humanity with revolutionary discoveries, from the first clear images of Jupiter's turbulent atmosphere to the unexpected ice geysers on Neptune's moon, Triton. Additionally, both travelers carry the famous Golden Record, a time capsule designed to communicate the story of Earth to any extraterrestrial life that may eventually find it. The record includes music, greetings in multiple languages, and sounds of nature, offering a snapshot of human civilization. As Voyager 1 continues its silent drift into the unknown, its fate remains uncertain. Whether NASA finds a way to correct its baffling rotation, or this marks the beginning of the end for the farthest human-made object, even if Voyager 1 eventually falls silent, its journey will never truly end. It will continue traveling through the cosmos for millions, perhaps billions, of years, delivering a subtle but potent message from Earth. We were here.